Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where a thankful school system appreciates their teachers and support staff for continuing to help students succeed. <laughs> Navigating unthinkable obstacles with untested methods. That's how our teachers are transforming an impossible situation into an unfolding story of success with only one singular focus driving their every effort, being there for the students. Some days, that constant positive presence means riding a bike through neighborhoods to deliver free books, packing bags full of school supplies to deliver safely through a car window, or handing out free meals after hours dressed as a superhero. Pretty much, teachers are happy to try anything new to help their students feel cared for and supported during this season of uncertainty. Whether educators are in the classroom or teaching from home, virtual learning, for the time being, is the safest option for delivering academic knowledge to classes full of students and ensuring that educational progress continues for thousands of children at all grade levels. In this virtual setting, teachers are forced to re-examine every aspect of their profession and creatively offer new methods for delivering content while keeping it fun and relevant. So a physical education teacher may offer healthy eating tips straight from her home kitchen. And a classroom teacher might dance in front of a camera while counting to 100 to get students excited about math. Transforming a garage into a dance studio helps dozens of high school students find their rhythm. A smart board becomes a truly interactive chalkboard for grasping mathematical equations miles away and a good book as an open door for the whole class to escape into a realm of literary joy. Teaching is an obvious necessity, but a global pandemic has thrust even more responsibility and pressure squarely on the shoulders of our professional educators. And their response has been a warm smile and a stronger dedication to helping students succeed academically and socially, no matter how many obstacles arise. To all of our teachers, thank you for your dedication to our students, for your commitment to their success, and for your willingness to explore every creative option possible so that each child in Newport News feels connected and loved. <laughs> if it wasn't for our knowledgeable, dedicated, and hardworking technology department, learning of any kind would be completely non-existent right now. With little warning in late March, after the governor closed schools, 100 IT professionals in Newport News Public Schools sprang into action to make distance learning possible for our entire school system. By working diligently over a weekend, the NNPS Technology Department began handing out Chromebooks and hotspot devices to equip families for at-home learning in the spring. Over the summer months, these same professionals worked diligently to procure and refurbish enough mobile devices to equip every student for virtual learning in the fall. At the same time, they were also building the infrastructure and working closely with the curriculum and development team to develop the software necessary for students and teachers to effectively learn online. To help handle the summer workload, substitute administrative secretaries, substitute teachers, and bus drivers were reassigned to help technology reach their goals. Since March, the NNPS Technology Department has issued 23,700 Chromebooks, over 4,000 hotspots, and are prepping 2,700 iPads with built-in hotspots for pre-kindergarten and kindergarten students at Title I schools. Every step of the way, technology personnel have been available even on weekends and evenings to offer personal tech support and online assistance when problems arise. During the first two months of virtual learning, the call center fielded over 39,000 phone calls and 10,000 work orders to ensure all students and teachers stay connected through learning. To our entire technology team, thank you for your can-do attitude, the long hours, and unsurpassed expertise to guarantee all students and educators are equipped for virtual success, now and whatever the future throws our way. <laughs> With students learning virtually at home, 
One would think our drivers and bus fleet would be grounded and rendered obsolete. Fortunately, that's not the case. While a handful of bus drivers are assisting child nutrition services deliver meals at various mobile sites, there are still hundreds of transportation personnel without a route to drive and no kids to pick up. Yet no bus drivers or assistants have been laid off in Newport News Public Schools because of the COVID pandemic. Instead, school leaders have strategically reassigned hourly workers to assist in a variety of roles across the school system, allowing 450 dedicated and trained employees to continue working and providing for their families. At each school, drivers and assistants perform a range of important tasks, helping sites prepare for students' eventual return to learn. Some transportation employees are even working with Newport News Park's Recreation and Tourism's youth programs, the YMCA, and Boys and Girls Clubs, to directly assist students during virtual learning. While other employees have been reassigned to plant services, working daily in landscaping, plumbing, painting, and HVAC trades. In many cases, drivers and assistants are able to use their hidden talents, while also gaining new skill sets that may help broaden their career opportunities. The drivers are enjoying the change of pace and are happy to still have a job in the school system. And Newport News Public Schools is thankful for their continued contributions and excited for the day when our drivers are once again safely transporting students to and from schools. <laughs> Since the pandemic first impacted our schools in the spring, the Child Nutrition Services team has been on the front lines keeping students and families fueled for learning. Just days after the governor closed all Virginia schools in March, cafeteria managers and workers were already whipping up nutritious meals for families to pick up at convenient drive through sites across the city. By teaming up with bus drivers and school security officers, Child Nutrition Services was able to serve meals from mobile sites as well as multiple school locations to make meals accessible to every family in Newport News. And what began in the spring has continued through the summer and now into the fall, helping to ease the burden for many families during this global pandemic. Every meal has been completely free of charge to families and has expanded to include breakfast, lunch, and dinner even on the weekends. No matter what weather conditions are blowing their way, the amazing cafeteria teams distribute meals every weekday, serving families warm meals with even warmer smiles. Many of these cafeteria workers have come to recognize repeat customers and delight in greeting students and asking them about their day of virtual learning. Through all their hard work, the child nutrition managers and employees serve an average of 110,000 meals every week. To the Selfless Child Nutrition Services team, thank you for your long-term daily commitment to feed the tummies and souls of thousands of students and families. Virtual learning is a new experience for all of us. While distance learning relies heavily on technology to run effectively, it's our educators who bring a personal touch to the online environment. Teachers in Newport News Public Schools are dedicated to every student succeeding academically, while also ensuring that students receive the emotional and social support needed through a positive learning environment. If a student's Zoom link doesn't work, an assignment on Canvas can't be found, a quiz isn't submitting correctly, or a student needs additional time to complete their work, your child's teacher is the best person to help you. Building open lines of communication between teachers and families is important for everyone involved. Parents and students are encouraged to regularly monitor grades through Parent View and Student View, and use these online tools to communicate directly with their teacher. If a student is unable to log on to Canvas or has to miss a Zoom meeting, please let the teacher know in advance whenever possible to help the student stay on pace. Whether learning takes place in a physical classroom or online through virtual learning, our educators' commitment to teaching at a high level remains consistent for every student.
This month provides a wonderful reminder that we should reflect and be thankful for all that we have. On Wednesday, November 25th, schools are closed and offices are open for a half day. Then on Thursday and Friday, the 26th and 27th, schools and offices are closed for the Thanksgiving holiday. <laughs> During the week of Thanksgiving, the Child Nutrition Services team will continue to make sure families receive meals. Free Meals to Go will be available at school and mobile sites on Monday and Tuesday, November 23rd and 24th. Then, on Friday, November 27th, meals will be available at eight school sites. Families can pick up their meals between 4 and 5 p.m. Visit the Child Nutrition Services website for more information. <laughs> if you're interested in magnet and specialty programs for elementary, middle, or high school students, Newport News Public Schools has programs focusing on a variety of areas, such as environmental science, communication and performing arts, aviation, global studies, as well as science, technology, engineering, and math. You can find out more about the Magnet programs and any upcoming virtual open houses by visiting the Magnet and Specialty Programs webpage at nnschools.org. All of the open houses will be virtual and take place from December 1st through December 15th. Online applications are now available, and the deadline for applying to a Magnet or Specialty program is January 8th. <laughs> All Newport News Public School seniors are invited to attend the virtual on-site admissions event on Wednesday, December 2nd from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Students will have an opportunity to apply to multiple colleges and universities and receive their admission status immediately. Students should sign up in Student View and complete all application requirements. If you have any questions, contact your school counselor. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at nnpstv.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving.